Hi guys, today we're going to show you how we're going to change our old thermostat to the new Google Nest. And so first what we did is we took this cover off. Um, this is the old one that we had, so basically we just pulled the cover off. This is what we have now. Um, second what we did is we put the labels on each wire, as you can see, according to where it's connected. If the red one is connected to the R, we're gonna put letter R around the red so we know where to connect it next. Now my husband is gonna go ahead and shut off all the power and everything so we don't shock ourselves. So that's really important to do that first uh, before you try and undo any wiring on this thing. In our case, all we had to do was just go to the side of the house and we have a breaker box and where you can shut off certain things. So what we did is just shut off the power to AC. So that way we don't get shocked. So that's what we did. <laughs> Okay, so what we're doing now is we're unhooking the wires and basically you just unscrew these little things and then the wires should pop off. So this is how it looks for now. We're gonna fish these ones right through this main hole right here and then we'll connect them. So what we did is we bought this plate separately. It's like a kit that comes separately if you want to buy it to cover the space that's not painted right here instead of just the round nest thermostat itself. So we want to cover it. That's why we bought this plate. So what we did is we put this round piece inside the plate. That's why we have it like this and there's a leveler right there so we're gonna put it through and make sure it's leveled and put the screws in. So if you can see the bubble is right in the middle that means this whole thing is leveled so what we're gonna do is just attach the screws now to the top and the bottom. Now that we have the plate here attached and it's leveled, what we're going to do is attach each wire to the corresponding thing right here on the sides. So each one, as you can see, has letters. There's Y, C, W, and G, R, O, B. So what you do is you push on the button right here on the side and attach the wire on the inside of this thing. Make sure the, these buttons here stay at the bottom once the wire is inside and not going back up there. If it goes back up, it, you didn't put it right then. Now the wires are in, as you can see. The only one we didn't have is this OB, so this one is out, as you can see, and the other ones are pushed in. So this is what it looks like right there. Each wire goes to the corresponding letter on the sides of the uh, plate right here so as you can see we have our Y wire connected to Y and all the others so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the AC power back and that's what my husband is doing right now and then we're gonna go ahead and put this thing on it has batteries that came with it so what I'm gonna do is pull this thing where the arrow is out so the batteries are working and then attach it to the wall right here there you go now it's out and we are ready to go as you can see it turned on and ready to set up um, so what you need to do is get a Google Home app and that's how you're gonna set up this thermostat And there you go it's all in and ready to be set up so that's what we're gonna do right now so now what we're doing is we're setting up our thermostat with the Google Home app basically I downloaded the app signed in with my Google account and then it just walks you through steps on how to set it up 
Um, so for this one, it's asking me what is your heat fuel source and ours is gas. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select gas and push next and keep setting up the thermostat. And this is what it looks like when it's done. You can even see yourself if you need to catch something on the way out, like a mirror. 